Hey everyone, Creative Venus here. Welcome to another beautiful tutorial. And this time I'm creating an objectives or goals slide. So let's start. First of all, insert a rectangle shape. So this time we are using two rectangle shapes, one on the left and other on the right. And at the bottom, you can see that I've placed a gradient image. And this is our color palette. So let's insert the gradient colors into this rectangle shape. So we are using this color palette. So you can try different gradient colors here. You can search online and there are lots of options. Um, I've used this one because this is more bright and vibrant. So coming back to the tutorial, duplicate this shape increase its size and we will you know fill a picture into it so i've downloaded this space shuttle image let me show you this one now what we will do is we will duplicate this shape and fill the same gradient color and we will increase the transparency on each gradient stop and one thing to be to be noticed on the first stop we have now used white color increase transparency on all the gradient stops and now the image is visible through the gradient color uh, this is a very different kind of slide that I'm creating and you will not find this design anywhere. Uh, I have this in mind what I'm creating and I'm creating it you know, in real time. Uh, it's not something that I have already created or I have put it on paper that I will create it. Uh, there is some kind of you know idea and some blueprint in my mind so I'm just trying to recreate it now let's insert a triangle shape and flip it horizontally and place it on the right edge of the slide and send it to back now give it a light gray color duplicate it again flip it horizontally horizontally and reduce its size and we will place it on the left side of the slide and set it to back now let's add some text here we will write objective here and to make the design more you know creative we will first write the letter O and increase its size and place it somewhere here change its color to white increase its transparency a bit now insert the other letters of the word objective and change its font you can try different designer fonts now let's you know polish it more with some font styling and design uh, I have used all caps and just adjusting its placement so that it looks cool I think it looks good let's increase its size further now let's write some dummy text here and here you can write your objectives it can be in the form of numbers or some letters some text bullet points anything you can add here you can use different styling here you, you can also use some icons some images here small images to represent your objective or goal uh, i would prefer icon here because small images will not look good here so i'm just you know writing some dummy text here and What I'm trying to do here is I've written these two small dummy text and I will add some numbers here 
this is like some kind of target you want to achieve or objective that you want to showcase here so it could be anything it could also be in percentages so here you can see that it's all about how you can place things also I have changed the font for O. I have used Agency AB font. It looks more professional now. Now let's write here business and just remove the S from it and we will write a big S here. Uh, again, I've used the agency FB font. Let's increase the size further. I think it will look good in the end, not in the middle. So let me try it here. Uh, I don't think it is looking good here. Okay, so let's try something different here so that it looks good. Uh, I think we have to use S in the end of the word business rather than here. Let's first write another word here, strategic. It will be business strategic objectives. Uh, we will write the word strategic vertically. Uh, let's first increase the character spacing. Now place it below the letter S. Let's first put it in the end. Remove S from here and write here. Um, let's increase the character spacing here and place it at the end. Now we will place it vertically. So you can try anything here. It's all about how you think or imagine. I have just thought of this concept a couple of hours back. Like I just thought how to place things here and there. So this slide is your playground and all you have to do is play within this rectangular slide so there are unlimited or n number of shape patterns that you can try so now i'm using rectangle shape we will remove its fill and only use the line select fill to no fill and on the line select a light gray color and move the letter O and S above the rectangle shape by using the option bring to front now let's increase uh, apply the shadow effect on the letter S and O so that these two letters stand out as compared to other elements on this slide as we want to focus on the letter O and S in the business so that user can easily understand that this is business strategic objectives now let's change the font for the numbers as well agency FP I think our slide is almost complete here is another thing that I'm trying uh, let's place the year 2019 here increase the character spacing and we will increase the font size for each character I increase the size of 2019 and make it bold and from the text options increase its transparency now we will beautify the background here 
so we will insert another shape parallelogram and flip it horizontally and we will increase its size and make it more slanted remove its outline and give it the same gradient color as we have on the shapes let's change it its angle to 330 degrees and send it to back but it has gone behind the two triangle shapes so we will send the two triangle shapes back to this parallelogram so now our slide is complete i hope you like this video so you can try this slide and share your thoughts in the comment section below please do not forget to subscribe to our channel thank you have a nice day